Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Dot Age. Uh, this is a, I, I've heard, actually quite difficult, but uh, interesting village builder uh, keep provided by the dev. Thank you very much, dev. I've actually played a previous iteration of this game, but it's recently come out in a 1.0. Uh, I'm going to play it for a little bit. I'm going to go through the tutorial. Um, you're not going to see everything, but you will definitely see some reactions. And uh, if you're interested in this game, you can definitely find a link to it in the description. Uh, let's uh, jump into it. Jump in. Tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale of a curse that we were destined to face and how we overcame it through cooperation okay challenging experience let's do it merciless game by choosing the normal difficulty you acknowledge that you are ready for a real challenge okay okay begins before any of you were born we had been traveling for days in strange lands this is the story of how our village was born the story of how we defeated the prophet okay all began in a lush seclusion valley that we found after several days of travel a few more steps you slackers we we're almost there my feet hurt the uh since the last time i played this game the the graphics have overgone uh, or undergone uh, quite a few upgrades and I have to say it looks really nice right now. I was so young then I convinced some pips to follow me into the valley. This is it. This is the place I told you about. We have to stop here. Popo, you better not be lying about this new life, Elder. Impertinent. Follow my example and all will be well. Now get to work. We started work straight away on the construction of our village. Our vill I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? You better pay attention because I'm not going to repeat this twice. You can always click this button to skip the tour. Skip this oh, we can zoom way out. I was the Elder of the new village. Let me tell you what I did to make it thrive. thrive. We built a bivouac. Biv a bivouac. A bivouac. To find the boundaries of our village. Where we can safely build. Got a little bit of civilization in this. Just a little bit. I keep meaning to go back to... Um, this isn't a comment on the game so much. But I, I keep meaning to go back to... Uh, uh, in the storm. I forget what the game... Attack of the storm. The storm game. You know, the storm game. Alright, we're gonna build there. The pips used to live dwellings. Live in dwellings like this one. Over over the dwelling and you will see that it is already full of pit. Full of pit. I recommend the first time I sent a pip to get food. To assign a pip to a building, structure, or plant, click on it. Just followed my advice without question. The pip is now working. You can click on the tile again to remove its work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building to see what it produces in the top right corner. Right corner. Uh, did I manage to capture none of the trees? That's maybe a problem. Bushes have limited uses. The number of the top left shows how many uses are left. Okay, five. Five berries. We collected the resources we produce each day in a common pool in the village. Okay. Each pip ate one piece of food. All right, so we've got we're covering our needs right now. right now how many pips there are in the village and how many are idle so we've got three idle and one is busy so we could definitely have a few pips working on the other bushes it's really all we have available to us right now also recorded the current day and season the game progresses in turn so do not worry about time passing too quickly okay so we're we're collecting a ton of berries but we're gonna run out of berries shortly enough shortly. hold on there was more i remembered now i rec i can recall what happened in my old age age i tend to get a little forgetful as i tell you our story old memories will resurface so watch out for those epiphan epiphanies thank you plane pips can now build structures every pip has the ability to build a building once you have chosen a building you can place it anywhere in the village an unoccupied pip will go there to build it it'll take a few days well we just got a ton of food so we should be okay we need a tinkerer's post to help pips come up with new idea new this one took a day and uh, a few wood to uh, a few wood resources okay we'll build it here we'll produce one knowledge in one day okay also had special requirements the post could not be placed next to another building thinking pips need silence okay well in that case put the put it up here where there's like room for other things so it requires one day one sun in order to be built you got an agpedia when you see a question mark icon on your cursor right click to access the agpedia page oh that's really nice really so we we've built a pile requires woods terrain within one wood gathering gather. okay so we can gather some wood with that with that let's let's start gathering some wood um of course we need to assign some pips to these guys so let's unassign two of these and assign one on that and one on this we're gonna it's gonna cost us some wood to make the wood pile but we're good we're covering our food cost everything's okay right now i think do, 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 do. we built the thinkers post thinkers can research with new building came to these lands with little knowledge but can be very brilliant if they take their time some buildings produce knowledge that can be used to discover new building i think i said this i don't know if i did covered this game for the channel but i definitely thought this when i played the game last was that 
it had some um it, it definitely has some work placement vibes and it really reminds me of some of the Uwe Rosenberg games like uh, Agricola and Caverna which is a good thing I really really like um the fact that this game boasts a difficulty is is interesting to me. so I, I could definitely see myself getting into this some pips focus on harvesting knowledge that we could use to discover new buildings okay what's our tech tree look like each building required the production of certain amount of knowledge discovered I alone chose where to focus the research efforts hover over the building to see its details times two during water events heals one burning pips with water so I guess we're clicking on that as we discovered new buildings we gained access to even more building I uh, brilliant ideas can't remember them now but we had a lot of different ideas I am sure they will come to me later new research ideas will appear after you complete previous ones so we could get forager and then um this interface is a little bit tricky to read I will say so this takes one day to build that makes sense but then once we've built it then one worker at it will yield something um yeah I would have probably picked that over it but I guess we need a well so that's fine so now we need to assign pip to this oh I guess they're already assigned so we have one thinker assigned two bush people we need money of food so that's good um but we also want a well I guess we're researching the well so that's not going to happen requires woods within one tile and uh, there's nowhere we can build that yield that we could build a cabin requires two days and four wood holds two commoners I'm assuming we're going to want that if we want to um command our village you know oh it also this also expands our village good to know I know in that case it'd be good to expand to the forest so let's put that there we're going to need two people assigned to that um or do we need just the one person assigned to that so let's unassign this guy and put him on there cool so now we're just just covering our food costs um i couldn't tell if we were covering our wood costs just yet we're getting two wood per day now which is good wood is good you know we are gonna need one more day to research crude well i think uh hard to tell i guess we need to meet a certain amount of think points threshold we only get one research point per day so i'm assuming that means we're gonna actually take four days to research the well i we could dedicate we could build more thinkers post this will give us more roads oh actually oh that greatly expands our, our yeah okay we want to do that i think i think um we should be able to cover our food costs for now let's uh let's build that road, that road. good nice so now uh, i'll assign the someone back onto the berry bush procreation yeah okay this is this is going to be important power of love if a dwelling has enough empty space pips can make a baby and they should we want the village to thrive send two pips with some extra food to that building and they'll spend the next night together and make a new baby where does the baby come from any two free pips will do no matter what they look like pips can be very fertile it did not take long to realize that we needed more pips i was too old but my fellow pips were healthy and fertile it's time for the birds and bees to talk it's quite simple all you need is a happy couple and some food any two free pips will do pips need an intimate place right click to open the actions menu okay there you go two pips would spend the next night making the baby i hope everything is clear now i won't explain it again <laughs> okay um we're still getting wood in more ways than one um we're still getting think points maybe we dedicate someone to uh getting berries for now for now okay um i'm happy with this arrangement let's uh let's get some more pips that will un undoubtedly expand our food requirements nice so we've got a child femi is growing so it's going to take a few uh a few days i'm sure for them uh for them to grow when a child is born it becomes an adult after a few days children are not strong or disciplined enough to work so they just play around the house all day remember to feed them too though as they eat just like adults so now our requirements are five well they don't eat just like adults because apparently oh i guess it is yeah um i thought it was i was still kind of in agricola caverna mode where uh, each person requires two food um that's my bad okay so i think we're okay right now we have two idle can we get them to make another baby a child is already growing up here let's get one of them on a um wood pile and one of them on a berry and we're getting eight food and we're covering our costs and we'll make a new house in like one day we're just gonna restock our supplies for now we finally researched well that took a while <laughs> they finally figured out how to dig a hole <laughs> new research section is available some terrain may have special properties that can affect the output of buildings a building that can take advantage of the terrain is built on top of it its output its output will be increased we had ideas for many types of structures sometimes i remember a new research section and it appears in the research tree all right well let's research something new so we have growth we learned about tomato field and tomato and tilled soil and hunting sand and a lot of things actually mm, herb 
herb picker. I think this is going to be for medicine, right? Medicinal herb. I mean, thinks I am correct on that one. Seasonal autumn. I would definitely like to learn about tilled soil. Add soil terrain. We're going to need a second thinker post, I think. Think. Um, uh, where would we want a thinker post? Not a lot of places we can put one. I guess we could put one here. No, I don't want to put one. Put this isn't off because then it can expand to the east and to the south. Yeah, let's put one there. We want more people to think and so therefore we can uh, research things a little bit quicker. Um, I would like to make another cabin, but I guess we should make a, a well now that we know how to make one. Let's put one next to the cabin. Uh, we're going to need to assign people. Again, I think we have enough food for now, so we're just going to unassign berries. Bear got one research point. We built the things. Thing. We did not build the well just yet. Just We have zero idle. Um, kind of a problem. I guess we don't need wood just now. So let's have someone on berries for the time being. I'm, okay, the, the well is built. Is, we're no longer covering our food costs now that we have uh, five members. Mem ah, this berry bush is, has been spent. And this one is very close to being spent as well. Things are, are going to become dangerous. What I'd like to do is build a um, a forager. Not sure where a good place... Okay, they like to be near to be woods, I see. All right, let's put one there. Um, this person is collecting water. It would be good to have some water. We have two people thinking right now. I guess we if we take one off of thinking and put one on to building forager. Wait, does that, is that already built? I don't think it is. I think, it, yeah, it requires one day to be built. Um, then we'll have, we'll get to an even number of think points on the next day and then we can uh, we can research it on the next day. Just I'm just planning ahead a little bit here. And we're getting enough water. I'm not sure what the water is for, but I'm going to assume it's for um actually let's take this guy off and put him on that berry bush so we get more surplus i'm going to assume that uh we're going to need water when we do farming farming so we should learn farming in this next night and that'll be good because then we can maybe uh, get a more reliable source of food than um the berries the bear oh we should have started working on a new baby oops what 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 is this the apocalyptic vision i remember it vividly what our village is cursed many events with unpredictable consequences can occur when you pass the turn between each day and the next events can be anything a shift in the wind a, the creation of a new bond the symptoms of a new disease or just the usual earthquake most events have negative effects so pray you are lucky shoot a vision came to me i saw the future and the world is doomed the apocalypse is coming you brought us here to die don't be stupid we are here for a reason we can stop let me tell you about my prophecy uh according to what i saw we will encounter many events in the near future carefully noted all the days of the year oh i carefully noted this is the current day so we're on day nine so things are going to be cool until day 15 oh this is interesting i wrote down all my visions each one would come on a certain day the first one was only a few days away and a doomed doom event await us at the end we must prepare for it oh very powerful event a doom was destined to come in the near future interesting so when is this the domain's threat will increase and nothing can be done about that it will be tied to the fear domain is that like between day 14 and 15 if you foresee an unknown event we'd better prepare the village to influence its outcome it will be tied to the fear domain Season event. Temperature is bound to change. It will be tied to the heat domain. Okay. Tied to the heat domain. Okay. You said we'd find a new life here. Disrespectful fool. Are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the dooms can be defeated. This is what I saw. Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. Fear. My fellow pips dream of times of peace and tranquility, but these people are afraid of even their own shadows, and that makes everyone a little angrier and a little more dangerous. Against the storm. That's that's what it was. Visions of future events will appear here. <laughs> My visions are tied to the domains the forces of that threaten the village this one was sleeping in difficult times the howling of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip mad the fear domain feeds on the inner struggles and social tensions of your pips when its threat is high pips will commit atrocities controlled by their fear place buildings that make your pip happy and entertained to combat fear events you can also find happiness and positive social relationships including pooting okay but we learned to tilled soil so i mean you know we're, we're good special category of tasks are different from building instead of building something they can instead of building something they can change the terrain below it use them to clear a forest or to reclaim land well we like the forest actually very important to us plus two if water maker within one seasonal spring summer autumn we're gonna need different crops for seasonal things seasonal reasons herb picker we need to research the herb picker but we need to till some soil i'm assuming that soil likes to be in certain places can we like reclaim the bushes i wonder dismantle remove this building from the village it will generate some 
some resources. Okay, let's um let's get rid of some of these bushes. I wonder if doing that is a good idea though. I wonder if the bushes would actually earn more berries like in the next year. Seasonal spring and summer. So, well, let's try it. You got to take some risks sometimes, you know. And we're going we want to build something as well. Also, let's um maybe work on a new not enough free pips, too needed. Um for now, let's get our thinkers busy. So that'll work out. We're going to need some more wood at some point. We're good for water. Let's uh get them on the berry bush. I'm pretty happy with this arrangement. We're covering our food costs. You definitely have to think on your feet in this game. Okay, so that destroying that bush gave us seeds, and that's going to be good, I assume, for when we start tilling. Oh, did I not till any soil? Oh, I guess I I destroyed the um the the bush instead. So let's um let's till some soil now. Now. Let's just do the one tilled soil for now just to see how that works. Uh we'll get two people back on thinking. I guess we should start researching. Maybe tomato fields? Spring, summer, autumn. We are still in spring. spring. I assume this green means spring, yellow is summer. So learning tomato plants would be good because we're they're going to yield quite a lot for us. So we're going to learn tomato plant, plant. No one is idle. Um, a, a child is forming. This is good. Our berries are, are, are going to be gone soon enough. We'll definitely want to move towards chickens soon. New terrain discovered soil. Good. All right. So we've got one person idle. How does soil work? Cereal, fruit, and vegetable. I see. It's just a terrain tile. It doesn't actually yield anything. Okay. So having it is good, but it doesn't actually serve us at all just yet. Just okay. We've got thinkers. This is good. Um, these berry bushes are both only going to yield one each. So we're going to need to transition over to something else. I think what we'll do rather than completely transition over to foraging, um, I'm just going to use foraging to kind of lessen the blow uh, of like how of our of our needs until we figure out farming basically when we research uh, tomato plants so i'm going to build another forager over there we have no one idle right now um we are actually very good for food our max is 40 so like it really must be said that we're doing totally fine okay so those berry bushes are spent we have two people idle let's get them on berries um we have seeds so we don't we, we just need food really um to kind of lessen that blow we're, we're in a uh, not a surplus but a negative right now a, a decline or whatever you want to call it uh, a deficit i suppose is a better way of saying that now we could what we could do is like maybe instead of building something else we could just build another signpost how much did the signpost cost only one wood honestly i i think that this is a that's not a bad deal in fact there, look at all the berry bushes over here we could just like expand outwards um do we have anyone idle that could work on that I guess I'll just take someone off of foraging and get them to work on that. Wait. Oh, someone was already working on that. I wonder who. Oh, I guess someone on uh, who the, the person that was on the water. Um, I guess I'm okay with that. Okay, so we've learned tomato field planting, research, construction, education. Plants work a little differently than buildings. Once they are planted by a pip, they will grow on their own until they are ripe. When a plant is ready to be harvested, you can send pips collect. However, they will run out after a few uses and need to be replanted. Makes sense. We probably want to get a few more fields going um i could deconstruct a couple of these bushes no one is idle right now um i guess this we have someone on that berries right now so we don't need these guys on on berries um so let's see how we can plant tomatoes plus one if water maker within one. Oh, we don't have a water maker within one Okay, let's get that person on foraging for now. Um, I actually think, can we dismantle this? No free page. Uh, we'll generate some resource. Uh, I guess I don't have to necessarily destroy that, but it would have been better if we'd put, yeah, if we'd put a, the tilled soil near that. Um, hmm. Interesting things going on here. I, I, I definitely have things to consider because like what you, it's all about placement, right? So you, you want, what you want to do is get, see here, you want to get your crude well oh there's one here right so we could put one here and then if we'd surround if we surround this with tilled soil that's going to do so much more for uh like improving our you know our farmland uh now what we could do is what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take this person off and get them to plant some tomato plants now that we have this we may as well use it um so that takes one water and three seeds so there you go there's the kind of we have the complete circle now so you use foraging foragers to um get seeds you get 
uh, water collectors to get the water. Um, placement and location kind of matters. So you want to place your, your farmland around water. Uh, that makes sense. That is all super logical. Um, we definitely are going to need some more wood. We're, we're semi running out of wood. What's our next thing to research? Ooh, barley. Ah, uh, new job discovered. Farmer and barley and hemp field and well. Wait, what do you mean well? Times two water during water events. Um, this gives us two water. Heals two burning pips with water. I feel like it's the same. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so the crude well gives us one water, but because it's on a water tile, it gets two water. So I assume if we put an actual well on a water tile, we would possibly get three water, maybe even four. So that's good to know. Um, we're probably going to want the herb picker. That might be actually for entertainment purposes and not necessarily just for medicine. Um, all of the research is like even. Village hall. So what does this do for us? Unique road storage. Hold six commoners. Ooh, interest. Chicken pen. We definitely want chickens um holds three chickens attracts wild events Ooh, scary that maybe that's good though maybe we want that in conjunction with like hunting tent and then what's education remedy rug health retreat thinker altar nature paper maker knife master paper lots of things and then what's in construction ah clearing clearing stone gatherer workbench tool maker basic tools wood stack this is a uh, more on the advanced side and we would want to expand our village outward a little bit more before we consider stuff like this we need to cover our food needs before we can really do this so i see we can move into like faith-based stuff um this turns wood into paper i imagine we need that for something else attracts thunder event retreat thing this one if hemp maker within two requires dwelling within two remedy rug so this is for um like improving our lads i see and once we learn about chickens we're going to learn about many other things as well all right let's learn about chicken but, um no one is idle right now i'm actually going to take someone off research and get them to deconstruct this it's probably ill-advised but i'm going to do it um now that i have a better understanding of what this game is really requiring of me um i i would i would have better placement in the future okay so we dismantled that i don't know what we got for that uh oh oh there's a bird and it caused some fear crow sighting wild fear consequences nothing new creature discovered crow Pro. need to build a new house as well the event has arrived and the threat to the domain is increased the bar above each domain measured threat when it reaches its maximum we were doomed the domain however slept when awake it generated fear every day the higher the threat the higher the fear generated all is not lost we fight fear by creating hope research community when awake each domain accumulates its associated resource called power for example the fear domain when will generate fear high fear will cause bad events some buildings can help you influence upcoming events they can produce some resources against the power of a domain it can produce hope to fight fear we had special buildings to fend off events in the community okay focus on what we could meeting point okay so this is hope based buildings we're definitely going to need these first so i'm actually going to switch from chickens to um meeting point and i think in this game you when you switch i mean you whatever research you accumulated for that research stays um you don't get to just like swap all your research points to the new thing but uh, i still appreciate that your research points don't disappear they're they're that was time well spent is what i'm saying so our new lad is now um a, a tall lad they they have become tall so we can place them somewhere this tomato plant should be fine what we can do is i want to start tilling the land around this well i'm gonna need I, i'm gonna try and meet my food needs before i uh try anything fancy you know that's that's really the base of this kind of game someone is working on research uh it would be nice to have more than one but i think i'm i'm pretty content with this right now we're definitely gonna need more wood i've been really slacking on wood gathering okay so we built our crude well um we're going to want to plant tomatoes here and here um we have two people idle so let's get someone on that not enough seed oh right okay okay this is where these are going to come in handy so let's switch these over to seeds and i see uh it works out really well two two foraging um buildings is enough to generate enough seeds for 
two plants. Is anyone idle? No one's idle. We're generating enough food. Um, we're generating enough seeds. I guess we don't have to generate water right now. So let's take them off that and put them on thinking for now. All right. So this is, this game is really addictive. It's exactly the same kind of addictive that I appreciate in Uwe Rosenberg games. If you don't know what those are, they're board games. Uh, they're worker placement board, board games, and they're very, very dense games about farming. Uh, if you're not, a, not into sheep procreation, then I, I mean, still, look them up they're still brilliant games i don't i don't care what you say uh sheep procreation is is the bomb when you're uh when you're playing a new e rosenberg game tbh so don't no worries there um and this is exactly the same kind of thing that i, I appreciate in those kind of games uh so we don't we can take these guys off so they're gonna plant some seeds we have one more idol they're gonna g gather some water um so one one person there for water is enough to generate enough water to cover the costs on these and you only have to pay that cost once so that's really nice also after today we should have enough research to learn about the meeting point i do want to find a convenient stopping point for this uh video but like i'm actually really into this right now oh we're over we're, we're meeting our food needs very well right now i actually really like the music as well i don't know if it's coming in very well because um uh, of my new editing technique uh, you know quotation marks but i do really appreciate the music okay so we can learn we can make a meeting point plus one if dwelling building within one so if we put this like here or even here then we should be able to generate more hope um we're definitely going to need more wood we have one person idle right now so why not have them work on wood this is going to need one more day this is going to need four days each but we'll see i think this one will give us four tomatoes or two four food and then these two are going to give us six each i think because because uh, uh, their their placement is good. Is all right. So this looks good. No idle. That's really the main thing. Is we we uh, don't want idle. Shared table. Relaxing stand. Watcher. Infusion. Distress. New ailment. Okay. So requires hope makers within one tile. Relaxing stand. And that will take water and something. Maybe a crop and turn it into liquid hope. I don't know. Um. This will turn food and water into just pure hope. Shared table. Plus two if social building within two interesting that could be that could be good we're definitely going to want to plan against um the fear don't really need that person on water anymore we covered our water costs already so we can have them working on uh generating science we definitely want to start building up on other things um this is const oh, this is going to take one more day to construct okay we're we're good we're good we're actually capping out after today we we actually don't need any more food so we can start focusing on other things maybe resource generation maybe building a few things our tomatoes are oh wow they they give us six times three tomatoes tomato. that is really nice not as good as the tomato plants though or the sorry the berry bushes it must be said that the berry bushes are still superior um but let's get this guy off there and get them on there we have one person idle we're going to want to have them building something we want to build oh, we need two people on this in order to generate hope brutal okay well like i say we have enough food so why don't we get two people on food or sorry on, on hope and we can kind of uh you know have a deficit of food for, for a little while we're comfortable we're comfy we don't need to worry about it too much you currently have an 83 percent chance of obtaining a good event based on the current threat you will need one more hope to get 100 so once they generate two hope apparently we've already defeated the next event all right so things are working out i think uh what i'd like to focus on next is getting some more dwellings i see an unknown event coming upon us the vision is confusing but there is hope we can fight it the elder is a fear of vision an unknown event may appear within the prophecy the events associated with it can be very bad but the vision is blurred and the future can be altered increase increase protection against the power of the domain to control your destiny and get a good event an unknown event it felt somewhat dangerous fortunately we had several days to prepare the vision had awakened the domain which had begun to generate fear better produce some hope when an unknown event arrives the domain's current protection and power are compared you have a chance to get a good event based on the difference the higher your protection the higher the chance of a good event to appear you can collect enough protection you will get a good event with certainty difference needed to reach a certain t increases with the domain's threat okay so we need more hope to defeat to, to get a uh you know a good event it looks like we are generating fear right now um we could generate more hope just to kind of like have a surplus it's kind of like food you know it's an extra thing we have to stockpile um like anything else so we're good for now we're getting our tomatoes um the nice thing about the 
tomatoes is that they since they're three each they kind of work out for our village very nicely the bad part though is that if i want another dwelling and i do want another dwelling then that will no longer be true uh, i don't want to do this now though because um i want to generate hope and i want to get the the other research required for the shared table so i'm just going to go ahead and uh leave this as is some more hope like we're very comfortable right now why did we go down to 28 food oh i wait what i thought we were close to 40 food new resource discovered fear i thought we already knew about fear we got the shared table many buildings will list a class of resource as an input rather than in a specific resource this means that any resource in that okay yeah so that's that's what that meant is it, it just means food but uh this one means okay this one means vegetable or fruit and this one means like any kind of okay uh to be fair i read tomato as fruit don't kill me for that this means vegetable got it <laughs> uh i kind of wish we had a total food metric up here right now i have to read it as 34 which is fine um but i definitely don't um my brain has to do the math manually so what can we build i mean i wouldn't mind having like we're we're at 100 percent here and we have like a lot of uh we've got surplus but what about oh we, we haven't researched the relaxing stand yet i thought we did two if social building within two requires dwelling within two why can't we build it ah devs uh that's a bit of a problem oh i see okay um yeah that that's not really working i feel like i should be able to build it right now i just researched it how come i can't build it oh wait a minute oh this is a relaxing stand i build the shared table oops my bad so this is the perfect location for it i guess all, all of these locations are pretty good um let's build it here and then we can have them switch over from this stand to this stand that is going to require some wood i'm not sure what we need next well we need people to build this that's what we need uh what do we want to research next chickens back the chickens and you know what we could we have a we already have one research point on that so we may as well just like take one less research point and then have them start working on this and i'm going to continue to stockpile hope i also i do want to make moves towards chickens over here i don't I wonder if this is better no not really so i need someone to work on that maybe uh i guess i'll have someone the the yeah we're gonna lose seven wood right now so it's a bit of a loss but i'm cool with this so things are moving on uh, moving forward at a brisk uh pace where are we on the calendar we're coming up very close to our first mystery event but we are like well prepared against it we have one person idle right now uh, we've got space for chickens we've got two tomato fields ready to go um i, I just kind of want to like get the this food bush done i don't know why that is a priority to me we've got tons of food we really don't have to worry about food anymore um we definitely need more wood we also need someone to be thinking i guess we'll take um We'll take an L on the on the food for now, and then we'll have two people thinking. Do need more wood, but it's not a pressing matter as much as research is. Research is how you win these games, you know. You got to maintain. Really, it's it's a it's a balance of maintaining like going up the tech tree with the um you know sort of production to maintain actually fueling that tech tree. So we're at 29. We are we are losing some food now. Can we can we make another child? No, we can't. We don't have enough. We don't have enough room. We're gonna have to work on another dwelling Let's put it like here that's gonna completely spend the rest of our oh is this, this require specifically berries that's kind of a bummer a little bit of a bummer that but it does generate more hope like a lot more hope it also requires water so that's it's very needy it's a needy building we need someone on berries we need someone on some kind of food we also need someone on food uh sorry on on wood like our needs are growing and you know what we need we need another person person um to offset these i suppose what i could do is since like we we got enough hope probably i'd like to generate five more hope just like once and then i think i should be good enough that i'm like very comfortable now we don't have to worry about hope probably for a while uh we can focus on food we can focus on wood for the next few days and um and then i'll just kind of keep an eye up there hurting chick uh not only pips live in the village you will also find animals of all kinds like pips animals need food every day so make sure you have plenty animals live in pens and ranches use the lure action on one of these buildings to lure an animal out of the forest this will cost you some resources okay um we have zero people idle right now we've generated enough hope we have one day before uh the event we should be good um let's work on building a chicken pen requires dwelling within one. Oh god okay that's not good 
good. I, sh I would have picked a different place for this. Um, hold three chicken. I guess we don't need that right now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll deconstruct this. The, the chicken pen will go here. Um, we'll get some seed for that. We really need to start um, focusing on food. Well, we don't really. I mean, like we're okay, but we could be better. All right, let's seems really silly to take someone off berries just to put them on tomato plants. The plant, the tomato plants aren't going anywhere. They're going to be fine. Get the berries because they give us more food in the long run. Uh, one person is idle. What would do it? What would I like? I guess I would like to... I, I'd like more food. Oh, you know what? I need more wood. That's what I need. What do we want to research? Egg farm. Butcher's cabin cook feathers. I don't have any roles yet. I don't yet know what, to, you know, what people can be. Paper maker, remedy rug. Kind of want to... Uh, the village hall is very expensive. I need way more wood for that. Kind of want to do like egg pen or egg farm. Oh, that's 12 wood. Oh, we're going to need so much more wood. Let's do like the hunting tent nah maybe the well the well would be a straight up upgrade so i guess that would be nice what is this wood stack oh this uh this would actually be a massive improvement workbench turns three wood into one construction i guess we'll need construction points in the future um okay let's how come i don't know this okay so when we need to play more so let's build this the wood stack seems like a really good thing for us especially since we're running out of wood all right so let's see what this event Event is and then i'm going to call the video there but this is definitely the kind of thing i could see myself playing a lot more of i really like this kind of game um it's simple in some ways and in other ways it's, it's got some really cool depth it's very transparent about it, its information so what do we got we turned it into a, uh, a good thing unknown event incoming tonight efficient our thinker's post is efficient nice two becomes efficient for five days traits ingenuity these events are all about showcasing the innovative and creative ideas that some come up with who knows maybe they'll even invent a new kind of bread it's a good thing building condition buildings may be affected by condition so some of our buildings are going to be effect become efficient after event buildings can sometimes be affected by a condition these are conditions uh can cause damage block production spread to other buildings the agepedia when you encounter a new one when a building is in a condition a special action can be used to problem this action requires a specific resource and lasts a single turn so this post is now going to produce two point oh wow both thinkers posts are are efficient so does that mean they're going to produce two each it looks like we have two pips available for work um so let's get working on the chicken pen and um let's get some get on tomatoes we'll be good for wood uh we're gonna lose four wood it's a good thing i guess we get our wood before we take our wood i suppose i shouldn't have built this chicken can we undo that remove plant yeah let's not do that let's instead have someone working on food and um so we're looking at 50 50 right now i actually wonder if it wouldn't be better to start working on ho generating hope again for the next event um there's a lot to consider a lot to, a lot of things to, to work on in this game we got a lot of points we're gonna get to as soon as i get that wood stack then i would be able to start generating a lot more wood um we do have another cabin so we definitely want to uh two people generating a, a baby <laughs> I, am, I am very mature um let's get this this guy off there and this guy off food and get them making a kid and then we can have a bunch of people working on food for the next little while i do i forgot to check so we're already at 100 percent towards our next event baby burry is born here's the thing though is this a fear-based event no it's not so that's a that's the thing this is a heat seasonal event temperature is bound to change it will be tied to a heat domain so we have to start looking at things that will generate uh whatever resource against heat Heat, but right now it seems like we're in the fear domain so i'm not sure you know i'm not sure what's up there we did blow through quite a lot of our food um so let's get a bunch of people on food in fact let's get like everyone on food and then the other two people are just going to be on uh part of think tanks they'll start a youtube uh start talking about controversial topic uh, you know well you can fill in the blanks here i'm sure we don't yet know how to build a wood stack but we are we're very close generate more food tons more food look at all that food we just generated I do kind of wish, I don't know if this is a thing that I can do, but I, I wouldn't mind if I could generate, like decide where the food goes. Like I only want um, berries to go towards the, the shared space. Unlock buildings that are stronger versions of existing buildings. You can build upgraded versions of these buildings on top of the old ones, saving a lot of building resources. That is good. That is exactly what we want. Where is water? Water. Can we, you must first research clearing. What? This one needs clear space? You must first research clearing. Okay, I guess I need to research.
research clearing well we should learn research it in like one turn that's fine is there any way food I've seen a lot of pips argue about whether this roundish fruit is actually a fruit or not i don't like it so vegetable it is oh okay well the game agrees can we like decide that we're not going to eat berries at all okay is that what that means that's actually really good that's exactly what i wanted and that way we're we're keeping the berries purely for our shared space um we're generating a lot of food this turn and we're learning about clearing so we're doing really well actually i kind of want to keep i said i was going to stop after the event but you, did you notice how i didn't <laughs> this game's really good uh remove paving don't forget a strong town requires good foundations more advanced structures are too heavy to be built on grass and require some pavement below pavements also increase hit point structures built on them and make your town prettier okay so we i guess we want to pave oh it won't let us pave there so i guess we'll pave there and then we'll build the uh wood stack there someone's building it so someone was yeah someone came off the berry bush this is good uh everyone's on tomatoes those tomatoes are going to yield for a few more days as soon as this guy's off this one i'll start tilling some more soil here um we could start building a, a well oh, we need nine wood for the well okay yeah we definitely need to focus on getting wood okay stone gatherer that's going to require wood we probably need stone um there's a heat based event in the future i'm assuming we're going to need things like puddles heals one burning this is going to turn water into cool cooling i i assume we need cooling uh to fend off against heat um domains in the future oh 40 resource max is for like all different forms of resources so you're not capped out at 40 food you're capped out at 40 of each food type that's really good knowledge can feel that in my bones the next season is coming upon us get ready for it yeah and now we are fending off the eat domain damage a building a building can take an amount of damage equal to its hit points which can be viewed in the agepedia when the hit points are zero the building is destroyed eat domain feeds on the rising temperature throughout the village during hot seasons it is fast fickle and reckless it can spread flames anywhere so make sure you keep it at bay it will be replaced by the cold domain during autumn season affects the heat and cold domains when autumn arrives cold he comes dangerous and vice versa heat becomes your main concern when the spring arrives be careful as seasons can affect the production of buildings especially those that produce we already researched the puddle i am already on top of this we need three more cold to get 100 on a positive so we're already very like i I'm, I'm feeling very confident right now like i feel like i actually i'm doing i'm doing uh really well um let's build a wood stack and we're gonna need that puddle where is the puddle ah cold i do think that the this ui could maybe be reorganized maybe i don't know like it's difficult to tell where things uh should or could be being we ha are gonna build this puddle in one day and then generate one cold each day we should actually just barely make it wow that timing was tight that timing was super tight it's a good thing i took someone off thinking and put them on wood so that i could construct this in time wow yeah that was actually pretty close um we have seven people now i guess that our child has grown up um we've got enough food let's get working on another child we gotta get that growth gotta get that growth gotta expand exponentially keep up with demand with dem okay so we're gonna need water for the pond we've got someone on water that's good we've got someone generating wood we've got someone building the wood pile we've got three people idle so let's go one two and then we've got one more person idle where can they go maybe they could become a thinker for a little while i mean that makes sense no they should we should be generating cold oh this generates too cold oh we should be totally fine yeah i mean we're we're already fine built a wood stack everyone's eating tomatoes one thing i do appreciate in this game um that is is always kind of irked me is i i've never been a fan of like a, oh your your villagers uh need food but they're they're better off if you have a variety of food listen i know that makes sense but it, it, it's a real pain when you're like trying to meet food demands and then already your villagers are like i want a filet mignon or else i'm gonna throw a tantrum come on dude get, get with the program here this is a feudal society you're supposed to be suffering okay so we've made a new child um people are back on on that tomato meta i think we're okay we've got we've got enough cold to meet demands i really can't stop it's been an hour and 15 minutes and i'm really enjoying this 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 is an excellent game I, well done honestly like um i i, I remember i played the like uh, an early iteration of this game and i was like yeah this is pretty cool um but like you know needs some work and it has gotten it it's gotten love and uh and i really appreciate where it is right now i mean i'm doing really well so i mean maybe that skews my uh perspective slightly um but like it plays like a worker placement game like you know so many
many games I have enjoyed in the past. Um, like I really just want to keep playing. The Elder had a vision of heat. You know, seasonal threat is set to plus one to to one plus year. Consequences in five days. Summer is finally here. The heat is harsher. Okay, we didn't. We're not in summer. Uh, spring. We're in summer. Okay. The heat is harsher during summer. Uh, so be sure to fend off the domain. When a new season starts, plant that match. Plants that match the season will be restocked. Use this to your advantage. If events are left unchecked, they may have consequences. Uh, new previously unforeseen events may appear and be added to the prophecy. A good event may block the chain. So now we're generating plus one heat each day, but we already have a 100% chance uh, against it. So in five days, we'll, you know, it'll matter. Um, so I don't know, uh, what, what can we really say about this game? I, I think you'll know if it's a game for you. Um, I think that if you are into any kind of your Euro, Euro based games, um, you would enjoy this. I think that if you are into Civ based games, it may, uh, this game may seem a little bit light casual, but for, I know for some, I know like myself, um, I've always found Civ type games to be very intimidating. So I am actually very encouraged by the, the somewhat simplicity of this. That's not to say that it doesn't have depth. And, and actually I, I feel like I definitely have a, like a lot of agency, a lot of, uh, wealth of choices. Um, and you know what you do, it really does kind of affect how things play out. So it's not shallow by any means, but, um, it definitely is on the simpler side of, of the kind of like Civ genre. But either way, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit the like button, consider subscribing for more content like this, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.